can do you know I couldn't go to the Lyons County High School game the other night because the, the the superintendent and the sheriff banned me from the school. Greetings this is the Ghetto Free Press and I'm George Valdosta Ryans and I'm in Valdosta Georgia standing on a major thoroughfare North Ashley Street in Valdosta Georgia. I come to this spot because I want it known that after being under a 380-day criminal trespass warrant and without justification or notification that was given to me by the Lowndes County Sheriff's Department, a Deputy Thomas, yet I have violated no law. I have gone to all of the legal agencies in Valdosta, as you have seen on these videos. Last week, Thursday to be exact, I filed an Open Records Act according to the Georgia State Attorney General on handbook requesting all tapes, letters, and other transactions or communications concerning my subject, my criminal trespass warning. This letter was also sent to the Lyons County Superintendent, Wes Taylor. I want to get to the bottom of what has been done to me following the death of Kendrick Johnson at Lyons County High School on January the 10th, and his body was found on the 11th. 11 o'clock that night, the father called me. I started reporting it. I started asking why had the news media not published that, and many people believe that my criminal trespass was a direct result of somebody not wanting me to report the information that I am so accustomed to doing, as you will see on all of my videos, 4,000 videos and over half a million views. I intend to keep you informed on that open records request. This is not just about me, but it is about you, your children, and coming generations. For instance, if you are a student at Valdosta State University or an airman <coughs> stationed out at Moody Air Force Base, or if you are a student at Georgia Military College, Wiregrass Technical College, or Kindaloo Golf Course you visit or frequent, Francis Lake Golf Course, or if a tourist come through or a yearly vacationer and go to Wild Adventures Theme Park, then they too could be picked up on a criminal trespass and they know absolutely nothing about it. That's what happened to me. Now, I am a retired military veteran. I put 21 years in the United States Armed Forces. When I went to Sheriff Prine three days following this criminal trespass on May the 25th, he said to me, unequivocally, he said to me crystal clear that he would get back with me but there was nothing in my record that he knew of. However, Sheriff Prine has never gotten back to this citizen, this retired veteran, and this upright citizen. So now we must ask a question. How many of our sons and daughters have been locked up in jail under a criminal trespass warning that had no legitimacy to it at all? It is indeed a disgrace for the city of Valdosta, Lowndes County, the state of Georgia, and the United States of America for our rights to be taken away and nulled to this degree. And so do you not think that if I could put my life on the line during the Vietnam era 
in other wars of this nation, that I should also stand up for my individual rights, the rights of my children, the rights of my grandchildren, the rights of coming generations of children, and even your children. I cannot and I will not be silent when it comes down to our rights of freedom of movement. I understand the Dred Scott decision of 1857 that the Supreme Court voted into law which said that no black man had any rights that a white person was bound to respect. Those days should not be among us. And so that is why I am here. This is why I am standing on the battlefield of this great war, testing whether this nation or any nation so conceived and dedicated to the proposition that all men and women and children are created equal. But if the American people allow their rights to go down the drain and they are picked up by law enforcement under the pretense of a criminal trespass in order to do what you want to do to the American citizens to try and align this nation or this state or this county or this city up with the governmental properties of Afghanistan, Iraq, Pakistan, and other third world communist nations, I'm praying that the American people will be wiser and bolder and more respectful and more religious than that. And so I'm gonna close now, but I want the people in Valdosta and Lyons County to understand that as we as black African Americans, if we sit down and let them take away every vestige of rights and freedoms that both black and white and Germans and other people fought so hard for us to acquire, we are all gonna lose it. We're going to lose our rights because black folk, church folk, pastors, imams, and rabbis in Judaism, you sat down and said nothing. So when my rights are violated, and Kendall and Miss Watkins, 14-year-old girl at Pine Grove Middle School was ignored by the local news media, and you said absolutely nothing. She could not even get the Valdosta Daily Times to tell her story. She could not get ABC, NBC, CBS, or nobody else to report what happened to her 14-year-old daughter. And so the question must be asked now. Will we all bury our head in the sand like the legend concerning the ostrich bird and pretend that we're in heaven? I hope to God not. I am hoping that some black people in the religious circles would start standing up move themselves from the four walls of a church, move themselves from four walls of a mosque, move themselves from the temples and other places of so-called spiritual worship, and join in the suffering of people who can't afford a lawyer, who can't afford to be in the clique and among the slicks, and therefore their children are being treated like ticks, 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 and many of them have violated no law. So once again, I cut this video to let you know that this will not go away, that every, every legal entity in Valdosta and Lowndes County are aware of what happened to me and others. While right over in Meigs, Georgia, the mayor was given two trespasses, arrested two times for nothing, both of her brothers, Edward and Calvin, was issued a criminal trespass, and at least they got a form, a pink form, but in Lowndes County, they don't give you nothing. They don't give you a damn thing. But they try to give you a record. So your character, 
your personality, your professional reporting are what in the news that others ignore. They try to smear your name. They want to cut your credibility among your community. Then they want to take you to jail and incarcerate you. And then if history serves us right, then they want to take your life. But there's one thing about it. The God of my ancestors have said and left it on record. Though we suffer and though we die by the blood of the lamb, we shall overcome. And this is why Dr. King could not be stopped. And this is why his dream, whether you see it or not, was intertwined and connected with the God mind of the creation. And you cannot stop that. And when you seek to stop God's plan, you are bringing destruction, you are bringing illness, you are bringing weakness upon your own people for generation after generation after generation after generation. I didn't say that. The Bible tells you that. So you wonder why your people are getting weaker and weaker and weaker is because God decreed that you could run but you won't get away. Your crooked judges, your crooked police officers, they may do what they do in the courtroom, but there's a big, up, bigger upper room. There's a bigger upper room. And all, all must come through what God and Jesus and all the prophets, priests, and kings have left for us to look at and understand that God is real. For it is appointed once to die, but after that, the judgment. So you will think you got to wait because you stood in front of a black robe judge because he may go to the same golf club. He may be in the same fraternity as you or sorority. But in the end, God is the last judge. And so I'm going to say to you that I'm going to continue to stand up for right and righteousness you may not see me in your church. You may not see me in your synagogue. You may not even see me in your temple. But if God pleases, and if he like what I'm doing, I will meet you in heaven and watch you burn in hell because God said, again, it is pointed unto man once to die, but after that, the judgment. And so you can run but you can't get away. And I want to thank the God of my salvation for allowing me to understand the spirit of love because heaven and earth will pass away. But God's word will stand forever. So I just want to say to Sheriff Prime, you will do yourself a great service by stepping up to the plate and answering that open letter request, I'm saying to the Lyons County Superintendent Wes Taylor, step up to the plate and answer that open records request. I do it because I love this country. It's the only country I know. I know my descendants came from another place, but I was born in America, and I deserve the rights and privilege as any other citizen here in the United States of America. What do you say, American people? I'm getting views from New Zealand, Korea, Japan, all around the world. But I cannot get a simple answer back from the leaders in Valdosta, Lyons County, the state of Georgia, or the United States Justice Department. And so the world needs to look at this criminal trespass warning. Then they need to look at how black, newly elected black mayors are being treated in Meigs, Georgia, in Dawson, Georgia, in Warrington, Georgia, in Davisboro, Georgia, in Gordon, Georgia, especially Gordon, Georgia. Google Gordon, Georgia, Mayor, Mayor and Whipple Loop. Please do that and see what is happening, not in Afghanistan, not in Pakistan, but right where I stand in the state of Georgia. Are we not a city, county, state, and nation of laws? Are we not? Once again, I'm George Boston Ryans.